Cristiano Ronaldo just had an incendiary interview with Piers Morgan that's got the world talking. The football megastar landed himself in hot water after his comments against his own team, Manchester United. But as one of the most famous athletes on the planet, CR7 is no stranger to controversy. He's been under the spotlight several times, whether it's about his playing career or his personal life. But perhaps the most overlooked story about Ronaldo is his relationship with Georgina Rodriguez. People see them as a fine, happy couple. but tend to forget a few red flags that have shown themselves before. Stay tuned as we got all the tea about Cristiano Ronaldo and Georgina Rodriguez's relationship. Beginnings Ronaldo and Georgina have been together for six years. They first met in 2016 after Ronaldo ended his relationship with supermodel Irina Shack. Georgina was working at a Gucci store in Madrid and CR7 became her personal shopping client. He started inviting her out and would even pick her up in his Bugatti. Eventually, it blossomed into a romance and the paparazzi started taking notice. The couple seemed to enjoy each other's company, but a year later, the first red flags in the relationship would show themselves. Ronaldo bans Georgina from throwing parties. A match on April 23, 2017 saw Lionel Messi's FC Barcelona defeating Ronaldo's Real Madrid. Meanwhile, Georgina had planned a victory party at Ronaldo's house, obviously confident of a win. According to Portuguese tabloids, Ronaldo was clearly unhappy with the outcome and told Georgina to cancel the party, but he went further and banned Georgina from organizing a party again as he thinks they are unlucky. Ronaldo is known for being superstitious, and this is one of the things that his superstitions have led him to do. But this is the least harmful of all the red flags in his relationship with Georgina. Another red flag would show itself a couple months later, the birth of Ronaldo's surrogate twins. On June 8, 2017, the then father of one became a father of three with the birth of his twins, Eva and Mateo. However, Georgina was not the mother. In fact, the twins were born through surrogate. It raised a big question at the time. Why would Ronaldo, who was in a relationship with Georgina, opt for surrogacy? No one really knows, and Ronaldo hasn't said anything either. But some theories point to Ronaldo's celebrity status and narcissism as the driving forces behind the decision. Many see Ronaldo as one of the most vain athletes in the world. People have noted his penchant for drawing attention to himself at games and in the media. Former teammates have said he spends way too long in front of the mirror. British tabloids have reported that he spent large sums of money on plastic surgery. In other words, Ronaldo relishes having all the glory for himself, and it might just include the parenting of his children. When his eldest, Cristiano Jr., was born, CR7 reportedly paid the mother 10 million pounds for her silence and for him to keep the child. What if opting for surrogacy to have 100% custody of the kids is another way for Ronaldo to fuel his narcissistic tendencies? Another theory is centered around the difficulty of celebrities keeping a family intact. Harul Kona, a psychologist with many clients who went through surrogacy, says domestic drama and separations are common among celebs. Ronaldo wanted to make sure that his kids won't be taken away from him if anything went wrong in a relationship he entered. Additionally, Ronaldo came from a not-so-perfect family himself. He grew up poor. He had an alcoholic father and his mother initially wanted to abort him before the doctor talked her out of it. Did he choose surrogacy to spare his children from the possibility of a splintered family? Well, that theory certainly didn't last long. On November 17, 2021, just five months after the twins arrived, Georgina gave birth to Ronaldo's fourth child, Alana Martina. But around the same time, Ronaldo was facing a heavy-handed accusation. Ronaldo cheating on Georgina. A few days before Alana was born, model and reality TV star Natasha Rodriguez accused Ronaldo of sleeping with her. The fling, she said, happened in March of that year and started when Natasha snuck into his DMs. She ended up sending a photo of her rear end, to which CR7 replied, I love your bum, I want to see it in the flesh. According to Natasha, he did just that and so much more. Apparently, the footballer is a fan of plus-size bottoms. Earlier in 2017, Miss Bum Bum winner Erica Canella claimed that Ronaldo invited her over for dinner by messaging her on WhatsApp. And four years earlier, during Ronaldo's relationship with Irina Shack, another Miss Bum Bum winner, Andressa Urak, claimed that the footballer betted her. Ronaldo has denied the allegation. Going back to Natasha, the young model claimed 
to know that Ronaldo was in a relationship but became close to him anyway. He was a lovely person and after messaging for so long, it was amazing to be with him, she told the son. But when she informed him that she was joining a reality TV show, the footballer advised her against it. When she refused, he blocked her on all platforms. Natasha says that she felt betrayed and used by Ronaldo in the end. Fast forward to 2021, Natasha warned Georgina while recalling the incident saying, Georgina must keep an eye on him if there's to be trust between them and a future for them. Ronaldo and Georgina did not respond to Natasha on both occasions. In fact, Georgina stood by her man even though his ex-fling had evidence of the incident. But this isn't the last time Georgina blindly supported Ronaldo. Georgina defending Ronaldo during rape accusations. In 2018, Catherine Mayorga, a former teacher and model, accused the football icon of rape. The two first met at the Palms Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas back in June 2009. Later that night, the two ended up in Ronaldo's penthouse, where Mayorga claims he sexually assaulted her. To silence her, Ronaldo had her sign a settlement deal and paid her 375,000 pounds, which she states she accepted out of fear. Nine years later, however, Mayorga and her lawyers were trying to overturn the settlement. Photos snapped by paparazzi confirmed that the two met at the Palms that day, but Ronaldo denied the accusations of rape, calling them fake news. Meanwhile, Georgina seemed unfazed by the controversy. She responded with an Instagram post saying that Ronaldo can always transform the obstacles put in his way into momentum, showing how great he is. She also posted an Instagram story showing her playing with their daughter in a pool, along with a caption expressing her love for Ronaldo. You would think that Georgina should have started asking questions, especially given Ronaldo's history with women, but she stayed confident in her man. Mayorga's case was eventually dismissed in June 2019 due to lack of incriminating evidence. However, in October of that year, DNA samples taken from the case were confirmed to match Ronaldo's. Court documents later revealed Mayorga demanded 56 million pounds in damages from the football star in a lawsuit. In June 2022, a U.S. district judge dropped the case due to actions taken in bad faith by Mayorga's attorney in procuring evidence. Georgina prohibits Ronaldo from doing household chores. An odd ruling with the Ronaldo household is that CR7 isn't allowed to do household chores. Yep, and this was imposed by Georgina herself. But why? In an interview with Sports Week in early 2021, Georgina explains that she would rather have Ronaldo focus on the things he does best, football and the kids. She says that the thought of Ronaldo falling and injuring himself while trying to fix a light bulb scares her, and she doesn't want to affect the footballer's storied career. Instead, Georgina takes it upon herself to take care of the house and prepare the food, despite Ronaldo having a private chef. Some will say Georgina is so sweet to take care of her man like that, but others are weirded out by this setup and see it as another example of Georgina over-dedicating herself to the football star. Georgina's salary from Ronaldo It's been reported that Georgina also enjoys quite a salary from her longtime partner. Her monthly compensation is said to be around 100,000 euros, which is for various responsibilities such as home expenses and childcare, and that's on top of the income she already receives for brand deals and modeling gigs. For someone as rich as Ronaldo, money isn't a problem, but the idea of including your partner on your payroll like an employee seems a bit off. Does he really need to give Georgina a monthly salary, or does it signify something else? Some people have gossiped that Ronaldo is paying Georgina to stay with him. There could be numerous explanations for this. One is, again, because Ronaldo is known as a narcissist, so he'd want to preserve his attractive image. But another reason harkens to an old rumor that Ronaldo is actually gay. Those who believe this point out his narcissism as one of the signs. It's also known that Ronaldo regularly flew to Morocco back then to meet kickboxer Badr Hari. The two have posted photos of them together, many with hilarious captions that poke fun at their friendship. Some take these as half mint and prove the footballer is closeted. So perhaps today, Ronaldo is paying Georgina to preserve his manly image rather than exposing his true nature, as some would believe. Another rumor is that Georgina only stays with Ronaldo to avoid losing her sponsorship. If that's the case, that could explain Georgina's extreme faithfulness to Ronaldo despite the controversies he's been through. Not even a flinch when her man was accused of cheating with evidence and being overprotective of Ronaldo by not allowing him to do chores? Everything sounded too good to be true. I Am Georgina In January 2022, Netflix released I Am Georgina, a six-episode documentary series centered on the 28-year-old model 
Critics pointed out that the series portrayed Georgina's life as close to perfect as possible, which makes everything seem staged. The show looks designed to remind fans that she is a lucky princess who met her Prince Charming and now enjoys the best life possible, but it makes no attempt to delve into her struggles and flaws. Of course, it also paints her romance with Ronaldo in the best light possible, but it stays away from the struggles behind the scenes. We don't get to see much of their hardships. Instead, we are constantly reminded that their life together is great. Everything is perfect, so it all looks superficial. Many have noted that the show portrays Georgina as someone who completely lets her life revolve around her man, which may be true. In fact, maybe she does it so well that it hurts those around her. Apart from this documentary, the couple are really media-friendly regarding their relationship. You'll say, many celebs are just the same. Let's just take a look at Messi, Ronaldo's main rival for years. He also shares a lot about his life, but it's more the attitude of Ronaldo that completely changed after his intense rumors about his sexuality. Ronaldo went from not wanting his press to share his kids' faces to posting about them on his Instagram page, followed by millions worldwide. He has always been a family man, but since Georgina, he has really cultivated that image. Accusations from Georgina's family After the release of her Netflix series, Georgina's family accused her of abandoning them after getting together with CR7. In an interview with the son, her uncle Jesus Hernandez claimed that she rarely called them since being with Ronaldo. He says, she may feel embarrassed and consider herself better than us because we don't live in the same luxuries. He also claimed Georgina never informed them when her father passed away in prison, calling his niece an evil woman. Jesus is understandably upset since he's the one who raised a young Georgina when her father was jailed for smuggling drugs. Jesus' wife, Lydia, adds that Georgina never went to meet her grandmother, who died without seeing her granddaughter, Alana. Lydia also says they tried getting in touch with Georgina, but they weren't able to reach her, supposedly because she changed her number. The family accusations didn't stop there. Georgina's half-sister, Patricia, claimed that when their father suffered a stroke and needed a nurse to look after him daily, Georgina never reached out. And on the birthday of Patricia's son, she asked Georgina to have Ronaldo autograph one of the boy's shirts. Georgina refused, saying she didn't want to disturb Ronaldo, who was on vacation. Georgina didn't respond to the accusations. Instead, she focused on raising the kids while she and Ronaldo awaited two more additions to the family. The couple revealed in December 2021 that they were expecting twins. This was a month before the accusations from Georgina's family. Sadly, her pregnancy would have a tragic conclusion. Loss of their baby in an Instagram post last April, Ronaldo shared the news that their newborn son, Angel, had passed away. Angel's twin sister, Bella, survived, and the couple said that her birth was the only thing that gave them hope and happiness during the time. After the announcement, the couple received an outpouring of condolences from fans and colleagues. During Ronaldo's recent interview with Pierce Morgan, he called Angel's loss the worst moment that I passed through in my life since his father passed away in 2005. He also shared how difficult it was to celebrate Bella's birth while mourning Angel's passing simultaneously. The loss of their baby may be the only time Ronaldo and Georgina were seen in a vulnerable state. Sadly, it was also the most tragic event in their history, and something that no parent wants to encounter. For six years and counting, Ronaldo and Georgina's romance was portrayed as a fairy tale. But the more they tried upholding this image, the more the red flag showed. Perhaps this time, by finally seeing the couple struggle, we can get to know them better behind the glitz and glam. What do you think of the red flags in Cristiano Ronaldo and Georgina Rodriguez's relationship? Share with us your thoughts in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.